okay, if you had not seen a person in 40 years, didn't recognize them at all, and then were told who they were and you recognized them, then you'd begin to make contact references to what they used to look like and realize it was the same person. Something like that overtook the apostles. This is the reason. Jesus had no sin, but he came in the likeness of sinful flesh to take our sin. Once he died in our place as a sinless sacrifice, taking our sin on himself, entered eternity and then came back to life. His body was the same body, but it was Adamic. Adamic. What bodies would have been like had man not fallen. And it's a illustration, or not just an illustration, it is a representation of what our bodies are going to be like in the millennial reign of Christ. Our bodies in the millennial reign are going to be his. Now notice, he still had the pierce marks. I've graven you on my hand. Those things will always be there. All of our imperfections are gone. Your imperfections are gone. My imperfections will be gone in the millennial reign of Christ in a resurrected body. It will be the same body, but it won't look the same. It will look perfectly healthy. As beautiful as a baby is when it's born. As beautiful as a small child is. As beautiful as a bride is on her wedding day. Come back 50 years later. <laughs> uh, the resurrected bodies won't be like that. They're not going to be subject to bioentropy. Well, what happened to Jesus, he's the prototype of that. It'll be the same body protoplasmically in its atomic in its, in its elemental constituency, but it will not look the same. Much the same as if you renovate a building. It make it look better or you restore it to its initial before it became dilapidated and you don't recognize it. Well, that's the way it's going to be. One exception, even in the millennia, Jesus is going to show us the radius on his right and on his left. Not the metacarpal, the radius. This is how much I love you. He's going to bear those one marks of his original body before it rose from the dead. He'll always wear those things so we will know how much he loved us and what he did for us and that our bodies are not going to become old and sick and ragged again because he died our death to give us his life. That is the reason. Uh, now, this question goes further into the issue of don't touch me, I've not yet ascended to my father. That is another matter. Uh, I'm not going to answer it because it's not your specific question, but bearing in mind the answer to your question leads to another question, which would be that one. So, in essence, a resurrected body is a restoration of the Adamic body. In other words, the way you and I look now, that's not what we were supposed to look like. Because the way we look now, the features will change with age. We will lose our attractiveness with age. We were supposed to look different from the beginning and have a body that doesn't age or become ill, etc., etc., that won't be affected by entropy. Well, the resurrected Jesus is the prototype of that. I trust that explains why they didn't recognize him at first, and it helps us understand the nature of a resurrected body and its importance and what that will mean in the millennial reign of Christ. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.